What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Little Gentleman. And for all y'all that want a piece of my... Woo! What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Little Gentleman. And for all y'all that want a piece of One Piece, welcome to Wino Peace. Haters get mad when I Luffy, boss up, who's he? Haters get mad when I Sanji, kicking it like Jet Li. Haters get mad when I Nami, that money come find me. Haters get mad when I Zoro, cut checks like Koro. I just did some push-ups so I can get ready to talk to you about this video. Why? Because we're about to introduce a new character. I'm excited, but I'm also out of breath. Okay, I've been gone a little bit, but that's because I'm a member of the Logan Bros Hip Hop Group. So be on the lookout for some of our music. Now, before we even really get into the video, I want to send a shout out to the Wino Peace Pirate Crew. If you want to join the Wino Peace Pirate Crew, hit that subscribe button below. Do it! Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wino underscore peace for Wino Peace memes, Wino Peace channel updates, one Piece cosplay and One Piece fan art. If you would like your artwork or Wano Piece One Piece cosplay featured, DM it to me and I'll post it for you. Hey, it's a free shout out, right? This week we are recapping chapters 441 through 450. That makes us about 50 chapters to the halfway mark. And if we can get to the halfway mark, then we can catch up to everybody else. Okay, when we last left off, Blackbeard was facing off against Ace, or Ace was facing off against Blackbeard, however you want to say it. Now, Blackbeard was saying there's no way Ace could beat him because he has a Logia-type devil fruit, which are the strongest devil fruits that there are. Now, Blackbeard controls gravitation, so he was able to suck the whole town that they were in into the ground and then drop it somewhere else. It's a pretty cool power. I hope he doesn't catch Ace into this little vortex thing. So Ace hit him with like a real, real easy attack. And he couldn't get away from it because Ace is smart. The issue is, while Whitebeard is touching you, you can't use your devil fruit powers. That's very interesting. So then, after we find this out, when Ace can't use his powers, while Blackbeard's touching him, Blackbeard starts to get the best of Ace. Now the bad part about this is for a devil fruit user battling another devil fruit user you always want to be able to use your powers. If you can't use your powers that puts you like you just might as well be a regular human. So Ace is fire, Blackbeard's darkness, they have an epic battle kind of like Goku and Vegeta. It's epic. It's the battle against light and darkness. It's kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Anakin Skywalker because think about it. Ace was in charge of Blackbeard, and now Blackbeard is trying to take out Ace. Mm. And Blackbeard is kind of working for the Empire because he's trying to work for the world government. Some of y'all will catch that. Now, we switch back over to the ship, the, the Thousand Sunny, the new ship. Oh yeah, don't forget, shout out to Colorful by Susanna for the dope chopper. She made it herself, handmade. Check her out, Colorful by Susanna. Or also go check out the video I posted doing the unboxing. There you go. Now we switch back to Luffy and Usopp. And on the ship that Frankie built, there is a fish tank. The reason there's a fish tank is so they don't always have to fish in the sea to get more fish. They just have it on the ship already. Super dope. Now these two, because they're so smart, they get a shark. And it's a big shark and they put it in the fish tank. And as we all understand, this shark eats up all the fish in the fish tank. Why? Because sharks eat fish. So that wasn't very smart. They end up eating the shark, but now they got a fish and put more fish into the fish tank. Okay, so while they're traveling, they see a floating barrel. And this floating barrel is... That being said, then things can move along easier. We can um, get things going, you know, as far as... Alright, so they found a floating barrel that was a gift to the gods. Basically, when they found this barrel, it's put in a certain way that you would think it's a gift to the gods. So that way, whoever put it there would have safe travel. Now, when they find this barrel, they open it up and it sends a flare up into the sky. So now they're trying to figure out 
was that a warning was somebody alerted to their presence what what's going on um, and there also wasn't anything in the barrel for them to keep so now right after that a storm is coming and they have to figure out a way to maneuver in the storm so you know obviously their ship doesn't capsize or anything like that the ship handles everything so well you know it has all these different gears on it that i'm gonna tell you about in a second and i really hope they don't lose this ship in like a davy back fight or something because the ship is way too cool way too sophisticated to just lose it in some dumb davy back fight so in this example the ship had a paddle that helped them paddle to safety to get away from the storm. They didn't need the sails, they just had a paddle popped out the side of the boat. Pretty dope. So, they arrive in the Florian Triangle. In the Florian Triangle, this is where a lot of ships disappear and people don't even know why. So, a haunted looking ship appears and all you hear is someone yelling yo-ho. Kind of like the Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's just really, really creepy. So they meet this guy named Brooke, the skeleton, the gentleman skeleton, excuse me. I'm Tyler, the gentleman. He's Brooke, the skeleton, gentleman, skeleton. It's pretty cool. Now, the difference between me and him is the way he talks to women. I thought he was a gentleman at first, but then the first thing he says to Nami is like, yo, can I see your panties? I'm like, oh, wait, brother. Wait, that's not how we do it at gentlemen headquarters, okay? So, uh, we might have to revoke his membership. So right away, Luffy asks him to join his crew and he says yes instantly. So I guess Brooke is a new member of the crew already. I mean, that was very uneventful. They just met him. Luffy thought he was cool. Can you join our crew? He said yes. He also refers to himself as Dead Bones Brooke, which makes sense because that's a lot better than Brooke the gentleman skeleton because he's not an actual gentleman at all times as a gentleman should be, I know, because I'm Tylo the gentleman. But yeah, he asked Robin the same question he asked Nami and it's like, bro, you don't get it. You can't just, that's not how you start a conversation with the ladies, that's not it. That's not it, bro, that's not the first thing they wanna hear. Not all of them anyway. Okay, so Brooke ate what is called the resurrection devil fruit. His devil fruit didn't work until he died. So once he died, he was resurrected, which was kind of cool. I wonder if that means he can ever die. He probably can never die at that point. So the reason he looks like a skeleton is because he couldn't find his body in time before it decayed. So that's why he looks like a skeleton. If he would have found his body in time, he probably looked like a normal human. Intriguing. Okay, now Brooke can't go in the sunlight. So that sucks. It's like a vampire almost. But the issue is someone took his shadow and until he gets a shadow back, he can't go out into the world of light. And anyone whose shadow has been taken by this other person, it's like they can't be in the sun. As soon as they get in the sun, they just fade away, just disappear. So they arrive at Ghost Island, also known as Thriller Bark. What we find out is Ghost Island is actually a ship. Thriller Bark is actually a ship. That's the shape of an island. And what it does, it's a gate around the ship that closes in unsuspecting pirates and pirate ships. The barrel in the sea from earlier was, was what led them to Thriller Bark. It was a trap. So now they're caught in a trap and they can't get out. Now, whoever stole Brooke's shadow is on Ghost Island. And he jumps off the boat, runs on water, and goes to fight him. So we don't see Brooke for a second. Now, Frankie installed a mini Mary ship that holds 40, no, four people. And it's dope, it's like a little wave runner that holds four people. And it has like the going Mary's face on it, so that's cool. He also installed a one person waver and a three person scout submarine to scout and get stuff from the bottom of the ocean or other places like that. When Usopp, Nami, and Chopper go, Chopper, when they all go on the Mini Mary to check out the island or to test drive the Mini Mary, the others lose track of what happens is they fall into like a moat and they get chased by a three headed dog, which was a Cerberus, which is the dog that guards the gates of hell, if you ever know Greek mythology. And they get chased away from that, and that dog is like guarding what appears to be hell because this is Ghost Island. Now, 
when they fell into the smoke, they screamed. And when the others tried to go help, someone kept them on the ship. A ghost kept them on the ship. Um, that three-headed dog that got them, that chased them out of the moat, was, it looked like it was sewn together. And as we go on, we see a lot of different animals and creatures that appear to be sewn together with other parts of other creatures, which is very, very weird. So as they're running, they hide in a tree where they meet this guy, Hildon, who is hiding or who looks just like a vampire. He offers to take them to the mansion that's on the island, uh, which happens to be Dr. Hallback-sama's mansion. Now, Chopper knows Dr. Hallback-sama because he was known for healing a bunch of people. Uh, he eventually disappeared, and the reason he disappeared is he was working on work of resurrecting people or bringing people back from the dead. And this type of work, they don't uh, scientists don't believe that that's okay to do. So he was kind of like, instead of being cast out, he just went to an island to figure out a way to do it himself. And that might be why all these animals and people seem sewn together. There were zombies on the island, and they were chased by zombies. They found out that Hildon wasn't such a good guy. All the zombies were trying to chase him. I'm not sure if they're trying to turn them into zombies as well, but I guess living people can help you figure out if you can res resurrect them by killing them, something like that. Chopper's very excited to meet Dr. Hallback because of he feels like he's a genius. He said that he saved more people than there are stars in the sky, which is a great feat. Um, the way they got away from the zombies was Usopp used a fire star and the zombies were afraid of fire. This gave them time to run to the mansion. They meet a plate-hating lady named Sindri Chan. This lady just starts throwing plates at Usopp and says Nami and Chopper can come in. Dr. Hallback comes out and he says, hey, it's okay, stop breaking the good china, let all of them in, it's fine. Hallback also looks like a vampire, which is weird, but he also seems to be wearing a mask too. He also seems to know who Brooke is, which is key because Brooke is on his way to come fight whoever stole his shadow. One thing Dr. Hallback said was never look in the lab eventually in his lab eventually they were chased by zombies that came out of posters called Su surprise zombies they came they came out of paintings and they chased them all the way to his lab where they went in and saw pictures of Sindri Chan before she was a zombie she was actually an actress who died and disappeared just before that happened they were in Nami was taking a shower and an invisible man like attacked her and was trying to he said that she would be his bride eventually they were able to get her away from him but nami was very really scared because it was a ghost and then also dr hallback spoke with the ghost later on and told him like he had to chill for a second now back to the ship luffy and them finally get off the ship and luffy tames the cerberus which is kind of cool now, they are trying to capture the pirates for their bounties. I guess they're trying to capture the pirates for their bounties to help Dr. Hogback fund his research. A mysterious figure known as the Guardian is going after Usopp, Nami, and Chopper. And he happens to say yo-ho just like Brooke, but the weird thing is he appears to have human skin. So I'm not sure if it's Brooke yet. Whenever the ghosts touch you, they make you feel really like sad and down. So anybody they touch, they're just like, wow, I don't know what to do. Life is stupid. Life is sad. It's crazy that, that they have that power. So Luffy and the rest of the crew come through the graveyard where the others saw the zombies. They beat up all the zombies, and the zombies tell them that they can go to the mansion. That's where everybody else is. They meet an old man on the way, and they tell him they have to defeat Gecko Moria so that people can get their shadows back. So this will not only help Brooke, but it'll help anybody else that doesn't have their shadow. This guy, Gecko Moria, has been stealing people's shadows. I'm not sure why. I'm sure we'll find out soon. But we find out that Gecko Moria is a Shichibukai. Mmm, that's why people are allowing him to get away with stealing shadows and the government isn't chasing after him. Little tip. Thriller Bark is actually the largest pirate ship in the world. I mean, think of it. It has a whole island on it and a gate around it. So the zombies are gearing up for a war against the Straw Hat Pirates, and they're about to start a night attack. 
just it's nighttime, so they're all gonna come out and attack. Graveyard Absalom. He looks kind of like a lion, and I know we know Absalom from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe of Narnia, the Chronicles of Narnia. So he kind of looks like him, just standing up, and he has a crown on. But yeah. Graveyard Absalom ordered the zombies to let the generals take on the pirates while they take on whoever is scared of the zombies. So, whoever's scared of the zombies is going to get attacked by the zombies, and all the generals are going to fight the top pirate. Ghost Princess Perona is a zombie commander. She's one of the people that we're going to see fight in the next set of chapters. Now, this general zombie that talks just like Brooke comes from Wano country in the New World. Oh snap. I know I've been hearing a lot of talk about Wano. That's why we have to catch up, people. That's why we have to catch up because I'm sure this is going to mean a lot to us very, very soon. He's one of the legendary samurai who cut down a flying dragon. Think about how hard that is. Think about where you might have to jump off of. Maybe a mountain to cut a flying dragon. Wow. He cut down Chopper, Usopp, and Nami in one swift motion. They didn't even know they were cut until like three seconds after or something like that. Now, Sanji disappears again when everybody, Luffy and the rest of the crew, make it to the mansion, take out the surprise zombies. Sanji disappears. And the thing is, whenever Sanji disappears, he does some great stuff, like some great behind the scenes work. I'm sure we can start to have a whole chapter, a whole season about Sanji and what happens when he disappears. That would be pretty, pretty dope. He disappears, he does something genius and comes back and saves the day or does something that nobody would think needed to be done but did need to be done and is so helpful. Now all the general zombies are warriors of ancient times. So this means these are ancient warriors brought back to life and they're going to fight. You know, they, they know how to fight. They're ancient warriors. So they're probably really, really good at what they do. We're going to find out more about that in the next set of chapters, but let me catch you up on the short comics. Okay, the pirate who stabbed, the space pirate who stabbed uh, Junior Lieutenant Spacey tried to stab Anel. Anel beat him mad easily. After this, there's an explosion in the distance, and Anel's like, oh snap, it must have been my ship. It must, it might be destroyed, let me go check on it. It looks like the space pirates are planning a way to evacuate from these ruins on the moon and they're taking Anel's ship and Anel is very very angry think about it he just got his butt whooped by Luffy and decided like how angry do you have to be or how sad or surprised do you have to be that you got beaten in a battle that you take a trip to the moon that's crazy find out that Lieutenant Spacey, Junior Lieutenant Spacey, was born on Medical Island. His maker was Professor Tsukimi, and this guy always liked looking at the moon. So maybe that's why Junior Lieutenant Spacey is on the moon in the first place. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite part of these 10 chapters. The Grand Line is a rough place. You're gonna need a pirate crew to get through. So why not join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew? by hitting that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.